Hi all folks, this is Max from HTCEvoHacks.com. So today we're going to learn to unroot our phone back to S on and also back to factory settings. So if you have to return it for warranty, no one can tell that you've rooted your phone before. So first connect to your computer and set it as a disk drive. And go over to your computer. Let's go actually together. And what you're going to do is go download PC86IMG. I'll have download links below the video or in my blog post. Uh, and open up um, your your um, e driver, the removal disk, which is my Evo 3D, and copy this over into the root folder of your um, Evo 3D SD card. And when this is done, we're going to basically reboot into bootloader and it will ins uh, unroot back into um, whatever it was before. Uh, back into factory state and then we're going to use a command um, to put it back to um, unroot it back to uh, S on and this can work on uh, any computer Linux, um, Mac or Windows All right. and when this is done let's go back to our phone um, we can take the thing mm -hmm. out we don't really need it um, and also make sure your uh, go to settings and go to power and make sure fast boot is checked off that way we can boot into the boot loader or you can take the battery on do it this is way simpler um, hold down the power button and then power off and most after ROMs actually have the option to reboot into uh, boot loader but we'll do it for people who might not have it and then hold down the volume down and then hit the pull down the power button together until you see the bootloader. All right, and it's gonna cycle through and find that file that you just copied over. All right, it says loading PC86 IMG. And with when the status bar goes through, we're gonna simply uh, flash it, and it should unroot your uh, ROM back to factory stock ROM, and also replace the, you'll lose your clockwork mod recovery. And then also we have to put the S off to S on to completely unroot it. And that's just a fast boot command and I can walk you through that. Um, so I will be back when this is done. And it's almost done and I think you just have to click on uh, volume up to finish installing the unroot back to. This one goes back to I think 651 points, uh, one, 651, uh, I forget the numbers but yeah. And then hit volume up, volume up, can you see? Yeah. Hit the volume up button. And it's, it'll start updating. Make sure you have enough battery before you do this. You don't want to be like in the middle of it and break your device. Anyway, I'll be back. This should take about uh, 10 minutes or something. I'm going to go have a smoke. I'll be back. And now it's done. Oh, no, no, it's still going. Sorry. I'll be back. Now we'll say it's done. So we're going to hit the power button to reboot. And uh, we'll see that we've unrooted. I'll be back when this reboots. reboots. I hope folks, so it rebooted. And let's go look at the version number. Um, as you can see, I'm at uh, 651.7. That's back to the original. And I've got all original apps, no more SU, right? Okay, everything stock apps. Now the next thing we're gonna do is uh, actually put it um, back into fastboot and we're gonna have to go put it into SOF. So let's go to settings, uh, go back to power and make sure fastboot is checked off. All right, because it's gonna be checked on as default. And power off your phone, power off. And then let's get back into bootloader by holding down the volume down and the power button when it shuts off, when the LEDs go off. So it will take one more second there. And uh, come on, there we go. Hold down the volume down and the power button. Come on, sometimes it's kind of stucky.
Um, what happened is that I was supposed to take the thing out, the USB. Oh, there we go. Now it worked. All right, take it out and then put it back in if you need power. I actually need power. I'm running out of. Um, it's gonna go check. You're supposed to actually delete that file after you're done. Um, otherwise, it's gonna loop and check the file. But it's okay. I'll just say no, and then uh, I might have to reboot him. But it still says S off, so we're gonna have to uh, change that. Um, so go download while this is going. Go download my other file. I have links below to fastboot.zip. Um, that would allow you to uh, put it back to S off. So it will say update. Now say no, we already did it. And it's going to reboot, sorry. Uh, we're going to reboot and connect it as disk drive and erase the file, um, the PCM, whatever the thing. So we'll be back. So we re 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 reboot it, change it to disk drive, and go to your computer and open up your Android Evo 3D and go find the PC 86IMG.zip. Uh, just delete it, delete, all right? And then let's go back to our phone and put it back into uh, bootloader. And what we're gonna do is, um, just simply gonna take the thing out, power off, micro USB cable, power off. And then when it powers off, we're gonna go back into bootloader. And for those of you who's gonna do it, just erase the file first when it first rebooted instead of doing it like me. Um, I'm your guinea pig, so you don't. You can save additional five minutes. I'll hold down the uh, volume down and the power button together, and uh, pick it back and do bootloader. See now it just goes through, and you can actually access it. And it's on fast, but connect it back to the USB cable to your computer, and hit the power button. And it'll say fast boot USB like that. That means uh, we, we can use fast boot. So let's go back to our computer. And what you're going to do is go download this file called fastboot.zip and then unzip it. You'll have a folder like that. Um, you can put it in your desktop or I like to put it in my uh, root directory of C drive, uh, as you can see, either way. And then open up a command prompt under start search uh, or a shell if you have Linux and uh, you're gonna have to, Linux or Mac, you're gonna have to uh, do cd backslash, is that that thing right there, sorry my Korean font, it's the opposite this one, uh, and then go to the directory um, where you unzipped it, for me that is fastboot, cd fastboot, and here we're gonna type, we're gonna type fastboot uh, oem write secure flag space three and let me show you while the things there that s off should change to s on maybe we can just zoom in for this special occasion here all right and hit enter um it's supposed to put it in s off um so go to reboot bootloader see if it worked and hit the power button. And then it'll reboot into bootloader and hopefully we have S off. I think that was it. Yes, mm -hmm. S on I mean. So we got S on now. And try to go back into bootloader here. Mm -hmm. And then see if you can get to the recovery. If uh, It should have been deleted already. So I'm gonna hit the power button. And if you get a triangle, that means your phone has been completely rebooted, mm -hmm. all right? and S on, there you go. So, mm -hmm. I've got the triangle. Um, you can take the battery out to reboot, or, yeah, it's rebooting now. Um, mm -hmm. Just press that, and then that's how you do it. Anyway, um, I just showed you how to unroot your phone back to stock factory. Mm -hmm. uh, this is to the 1.13.651.5 with S on, and there's no traces of you rooting it. I mean, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to have to go root my phone again. Um, so see y'all later.